This is the EF EcoFlow Solar Generator Delta Pro 3. Honestly, my first impression is that it's really hard to miss because this thing is big and solid. It has a rugged, boxy look with aluminum accents and a solid handle, plus wheels that immediately remind me of heavy-duty luggage. When I first pulled it out of the packaging, it felt heavier than I expected, about 115 pounds. A little intimidating at first, I'll admit, but after using the handles, I could roll it around the yard or garage pretty easily. For me, that already set the tone. This is built for serious jobs, not just some ordinary power bank. From my experience setting up the Delta Pro 3, it didn't require anything fancy or complicated, and that's something I appreciated right away. Plug in the battery, connect the included 400 watt solar panels, they come in two separate packages, and it's pretty much ready. The LED screen turns on, nice and bright, showing everything I needed, battery percentage, estimated time to full charge, and all the input-output info. I didn't have to fiddle with settings or read a giant manual to get started, which is a relief because power stations can get technical, especially for beginners. One of the key features new users might wonder about, and something that I was a bit confused on at first, is solar input. The Delta Pro 3 supports both high and low voltage solar connection. What that basically means for newcomers, if you're using just a few small panels, you want to use the low voltage port. For multiple bigger panels in series, connect them to the high voltage port. The high voltage input takes up to 150 volts, while the low voltage can handle up to 60 volts. I experimented by connecting my three panels in series, delivering roughly 120 volts combined, and they worked perfectly on the high voltage input. If you get the voltage wrong, you can risk damaging the battery, so this was an important thing for me to make sure I understood. Charging flexibility is a big draw for this thing. I've tried AC charging, which means plugging it into the wall, using the solar panels, and even the EcoFlow smart generator if you want gas backup for emergencies. Combining solar and gas at the same time gave me a huge power input, which charged the battery up pretty fast. According to the specs, it can support up to 3,000 watts of solar, but in real life, I was hitting about 2,000 watts with good sun and the right panel setup. AC charging went as high as 2,900 watts and shocked me by filling the battery to 80% in just about 50 minutes. That fast charge was super helpful during a recent power outage when I needed everything back up quickly. From my experience, I'd recommend this for anyone who really wants backup power for their house, not just small devices. I easily powered my refrigerator, microwave, lights, and even a portable ACK. The 4000 watt rated output is enough for pretty much all common household appliances. It even has something called X-Boost, which lets it temporarily handle up to 6000 watts, and up to 12000 watts if you connect more units in parallel, but for most of us, the standard output is already more than enough. People will also want to know about expansions. I was relieved to see you can hook up extra batteries and even smart generators to boost storage up to a massive 48 kilowatt hours. That means you could literally run your home appliances for days if needed. While I only had the main unit during my test, just knowing there's this much flexibility is reassuring. Perfect for anyone interested in off-grid living or prepping for emergencies. Let's talk about noise, which I was honestly a little nervous about. I've used other backup batteries and generators, and they're sometimes annoyingly loud. With this, EcoFlow's X-Quiet feature keeps the noise down to about 30 decibels. That's quieter than most fridges. I even tried keeping it running overnight in my living room and went to bed without hearing much of anything. Huge bonus for people with kids, pets, or just anyone who hates background noise. Another aspect I really need to highlight is the app. The EcoFlow app lets me see battery health, charging rates, and even turn individual outputs on or off directly from my phone. It connects by Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, both worked without any tech headaches. I could check on my power usage while running errands, or just lying on the couch. That's something I never thought would matter, but now I don't want to go back. EcoFlow also offers a bigger touchscreen device called the Power Insight Tablet for even more control, but the app alone was good enough for all my needs. I think the design is perfect for anyone who wants serious power but doesn't want something overly complicated. All the ports are clearly labeled. There's AC 120V, AC 240V, RV output, USB-A, USB-C, you name it. There's even an Anderson port for those who want to hook up RVs or do some DIY setups. I use the L4x30 port to directly plug into my house's generator inlet, running several rooms during a blackout. I do want to point out, you can't use the 120V and 240V outlets at the same time, but for my typical home appliance needs, it never became a deal breaker. 
Now portability. Honestly, this is a mixed bag. Yes, I could roll it around pretty easily, but moving it up steps or loading it in a car isn't fun alone. 115 pounds is a lot. For car campers or arvers, it's a fantastic backup since you'll likely have someone to help move it around. For pure solo use in camping, maybe it's on the bulky side, but wheels and a big handle make short moves okay. Safety and durability are high points. The Delta Pro 3 uses LFP, lithium iron phosphate, cells, which are safer and longer lasting than older lithium batteries. There's also an IP65 dust and water resistance rating, so I wasn't worried about leaving it in a dusty garage or even outside for a little while. The five-year warranty also gave me peace of mind that it's made for the long run. If you want to get the most out of this, you'll probably need a few extra accessories, adapters, cables for different setups, and possibly extra batteries. That adds to the cost, which is already high. I hesitated before buying, but after a few power outages, some camping trips, and just using it around the house, I feel like the performance, safety, and ease of use have justified the price for me. In my opinion, the EF EcoFlow Solar Generator 4096W Delta Pro 3 is about as close as you can get to a do-it-all portable power station for actual home use. It's perfect for anyone who needs dependable backup for home power outages, wants to live with renewable energy, or just needs reliable power for RV or remote job sites. Sure, it's a significant investment, and, from my experience, you want at least one helping hand to move it safely, but the convenience, speed of charging, super quiet operation, and app-based control all make it worth considering if you need real power independence. In conclusion, this is one of those products that grew on me the more I used it. Started off intimidated by the weight and setup, but ended up confident in my choice. You're not just getting backup juice for your mini fridge, you're getting something that could keep most of your house running in a blackout. Charge from sun, wall, or even gas if you want, and all without much noise or hassle. The Delta Pro 3 is the most serious and user-friendly solution I've tried for backup and off-grid power, and I'd recommend it for any house with real backup needs, off-grid ambitions, or anyone who just wants peace of mind. I will share detailed information about the EF EcoFlow Solar Generator Delta Pro 3 in the comments section everyone. Thank you for watching.